Hey guys, so I know we've been working on page 215, which is I am learning about division with decimals. We've been working on this for a few days. Um, why we need to learn this is for couponing, shopping, homework, banking, bills, cooking. Those are all answers that you had given me. Um, we have done numbers three through eight on our live Zooms during math time. And because the internet was being a little wonky for me today, I am just going to record the rest of this page so we can all um, put this paper to the side and move on. So we're gonna start with number nine, which is 52 and nine tenths, and we're gonna divide that by 23. Now, I did introduce today an acronym to help us remember the steps when doing long division. So the steps, the acronym or the saying that we can use is dirty monkeys smell bad. So dirty monkeys smell bad. Now the math words that go along with this, the D is divide, M is for multiply, S is for subtract, and then the B is for bring down. And I'm gonna just gonna use an arrow. So another thing that you can do is because I do not know how to skip count by 23s automatically in my brain. So I like to go ahead and do a skip counting section with whatever I'm dividing by. So it's already there. So 23 and then 23 and 23 would be 46 and 46 and 23, six and three would be nine, two and four would be six. I'm gonna stop there. So for my steps, step number one is divide. So how many times will 23 go into five? Well, it will not. So then we do 23 into 52. So we use our skip counting. So it's more than 23, more than 46, but 69 is too much. So we have to stop at this 46. So that is two times. The next step is multiply. Two times my 23 is 46. My next step is subtract. So we have to do two minus six, which we cannot do. So we have to borrow 12 minus six is six, four minus four is zero. So, and then the next thing is to bring down. I like to change the color of my pen because that helps me kind of organize and works with my brain. So I bring down the 69. You start your steps all over again. So step one is divide. So how many times will 23 go into 69? Well, boom, look there. That was one, two, three times. The second step is multiply. So three times 23 was that 69. Next step is subtract. 69 minus 69 is zero. And last step is bring down. I have nothing to bring down, which then lets me know I'm finished, but do not forget decimal. So, um, the numbers I'm dividing by, it is one to the left. So we also put our decimal one to the left. So it's two and three tenths. Beautiful. All right, let me erase. I'm gonna keep the steps up there because that just helps me. So number 10, we have eight and 24 hundredths divided by eight. So step one, divide. How many times will eight go into eight? Well, that's one. Next we multiply, one times eight is eight. Next we subtract, eight minus eight is zero. Next we bring down, use a different color. Bring down that two. Well, we start all over with our step. So we divide first. How many times will eight go into two? It will not, so that's zero times. Next, we multiply. Zero times eight is zero. Next, we subtract. Two minus zero is two. Next, we bring down. I'm gonna change my color. That orange, I'm sorry, it's a little bright. Bring down your four. So we start our steps over, we divide. How many times will eight go into 24? Well, if you don't know that right offhand, do your skip counting. Eight, 16, 24, that's one, two, three times. Next, we multiply. Three times eight is 24. Next, we subtract. 24 minus 24 is zero. Next, we bring down. We have nothing to bring down, so we stop there. Do not forget decimal. 
So the numbers we are dividing, it is one, two, three places to the left. So in our quotient, it is also one, two, three places to the left. So eight in 24 hundredths divided by eight is one and three hundredths. Very good. All right, let me erase. All right, Let's do number 11, 44 and 5 tenths divided by 5. So first thing we do is divide. How many times will 5 go into 4? It won't, so do 5 into 44. So we skip count by 5, so you can go ahead and start a skip counting section. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, well 45 is too many, so we're gonna have to use that 40, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. Next we multiply, eight times five is 40. Next we subtract, 44 minus 40. Four minus zero is four, four minus four is zero. Next we bring down, I like to change my colors. Bring down this five. How many times? So we start our steps over. So we divide. So how many times will five go into 45? Well, right there. So that was eight times, so that makes nine. Next, we multiply nine times the five is 45. Next, we subtract 45 minus 45 is zero. Next, we bring down. I have nothing to bring down, so I am finished, but I cannot do not forget decimal. So in my equation is a one to the left. So in my quotient, it is also one to the left. So 44 and 5 tenths divided by 5 is 8 and 9 tenths. Very nice. Let me erase. And then we will move on to the next one. Oh, I accidentally took off the D and divide. All right, so number 12 is 7 and 71 hundredths divided by 3. So first step is divide. How many times will three go into six? Well, three, six. Here's my skip counting area. That's two times. Next, I'll multiply. Two times three is six. Next, I'll subtract. Seven minus six is one. Next, I'll bring down. You know I like to change my colors. Bring down this seven. How many times will three, so I'll start over, divide. How many times will three go into 17? Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. 18 is too much, so I have to do the 15, which is five times. Next, I'll multiply. Five times three is 15. Next, I subtract. 17 minus 15 is two. Next, I bring down. Bring down this one. Start over, D, divide. How many times will three go into 21? I stopped at 18. Three more than 18 is 21, bam. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. I multiply next. Seven times three is 21. Next, I subtract. 21 minus 21 is zero. Next, I bring down. I have nothing to bring down. Therefore, I'm finished with that part. Do not forget decimal. In your equation, it is one, two, two places to the left. So in your quotient, it is one, two places to the left. So. 7 and 71 hundredths divided by 3 is 2 and 57 hundredths. I'm going to erase. All right. Let's go ahead and do 13. We have 79 and 8 tenths divided by 14. Now, I'm not good at skip counting by 14, so I'm definitely going to have to do my skip counting. 14 and then 14 more. I know four and four is eight. One and one would be two. So then I'll just jot over here, 28 and 14. Eight and four is 12. One, two and one is four, so that'd be 42. Let's do one more and then we'll stop there. Well, we may have to do a little more than that. Um, Two and four is six. Four and one is five. Let's do another one. Six and four is 10, one five and one is seven, 70. All right, so now, oop, I don't know what that is. Clear, collapse, ah, there we go. All right, so 
first thing we do is divide. So how many times will 14 go into seven? It won't. So how many times will 14 go into 79? So my skip counting stopped at 70. So let's go ahead and do one more. Well, goodness gracious, friends, 70 and 14, which gets me to 84. So we can't do 84 because that's too much. So let's stop at 70. That makes one, two, three, four, five. So that was dividing. Next we multiply five times the 14 is that 70. Next we subtract 79 minus 70 is nine. Next we bring down, bring down this eight. So we start over, we divide. How many times will 14 go into 98? Well, let's add another one to 84 because I stopped at 84. So four and four is eight, eight and one is nine. Oh, look well there, 98. That took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. Next we multiply seven times 14 is 98. We subtract 98 minus 98 is zero. Next, we bring down. I have nothing to bring down, which means I'm almost finished, I guess. Do not forget decimal. So it is one place to the left. So it's one place in the left in the quotient. So 79 and 8 tenths divided by 14 is 5 and 7 tenths. Beautiful. All right, I'm erasing. We had a lot of work on this one. A skip counting by 14s is not something I normally do. All right, so let's go ahead and do 14. We have 25 and 41 hundredths, and we're going to divide that by 33. So also not something I normally divide by. So I'm going to skip count 33, 33 more. I know 3 and 3 is 6, so that would make it 66. So adding 33 to that, I know 6 and 3 is 9. So 99, I can't do it there in my brain. So next I'll just add over here to the side. 9 and 3 is 12. 9, 1 and 3 is 13. So 132, let's go ahead and do another. 2 and 3 is 5. 3 and 3 is 6. 1 and nothing's 1. Let's see if that'll get us a good start. So first thing we do is divide. 33 into 2, cannot do it. 33 and 25, also cannot do. 33 into 254, well, whoa, whoa, wee, whoa, we have to keep, skip counting. Five and three is eight, six and three is nine, one and nothing is one, so there's 198. I'm gonna come up to the top and add another 33. Eight and three is 11, nine, one and three is 13, one and one is two, there's 231. Oh, we're getting warmer. So let's go ahead and do another one. One and three is four, three and three is six, two and nothing's 264. So now let's look. 33 into 254. Well, 264 is too much, so I'm gonna have to use this 231, which was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. And so multiply seven times that three is 231. Next we subtract. Four minus one is three, five minus three is two, two minus two is zero. Next we bring down Bring down this one, 231. Oh, look there, we already had it, which was seven times. Then we multiply, seven times 33 was 231. Next we subtract, 231 minus 231 is zero. Bring down, have nothing to bring down, but do not forget decimal. So in our equation, it is two to the left. So we put our decimal point two to the left in our quotient, which makes 25 and 41 hundredths divided by 33, 77 hundredths. All right. Going to erase. Hmm, I feel like I accidentally, there we go. This eraser erases more quickly than the other ones. Ah! All right, so let's do number 15. 15 and 61 hundredths divided by seven. So first we divide, how many times will seven go into one? Well, that doesn't work. So we go on over and do 15. So how many times will seven go into 15? If you do not, do not know, do your skip counting. So seven, 
14, 21, 28. So I cannot do 21, that's too much. So I'll have to do 14, which took one two times. Next is multiply up. Two times the seven is 14. We subtract, 15 minus 14 is one. Next we bring down. Ah. We bring down our six. So first we divide seven into 16. That'd be 14 again, which was two. Multiply, two times seven, 14. Subtract, 16 minus 14 is two. Bring down. Bring down that one. First we divide seven into 21. That takes one, two, three times. Multiply, so three times the seven. Subtract, 21 minus 21 is zero. Bring down, I have nothing to bring down, but do not forget decimal. In the equation, the decimal point is one, two to the left. So in our quotient, it'll be one, two to the left, which makes 15 and 61 hundredths divided by seven, two and 23 hundredths. Go ahead and do 137 and 2 tenths divided by 14. Let's get counting by 14 again. We just did this one or something similar. So first thing we do is divide 14 into 1 doesn't work. 14 and 13 also doesn't work. 14 into 137. Wow. So we have to start skip counting. 14. 14 and 14. 4 and 4 is 8. 1 and 1 is 2. Um, 28 and 14, we didn't know that right offhand, so it's okay to jot it to the side. 8 and 4 is 12, 1, 2, and 1 is 4, so there's 42. Let's do another one. 2 and 4 is 6, 4 and 1 is 5, makes 56. Add again. 6 and 4 is 10, 1, 5, and 1 is 7, 70. Let's add again. 0 and 4 is 4, 7 and 1 is 8, 8, 8, 8, 8 4. 14 again, 4 and 4 is 8, 8 and 1 is 9, 98. I'm going to bring it back up to the tippy top so I can start over. 8 and 4 is 12, 1, 9 and 1 is 11, so 112. Oh, I feel like we're getting closer. 2 and 4 is 6, 1 and 1 is 2, 1 and nothing is 1, 126. Let's do it 14 again. 6 and 4 is 10, 1, 2 and 1 is 4, 1 and nothing is 1. Oh, there we go. So 140 is too much, so we're going to have to use that 126. So that was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 times. So then we multiply. 9 times 14 is that 126. We subtract 137 minus 126. 7 minus 6 is 1. 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. Next we bring down, whoops, which is a 2. So we divide 14 into 112. Well, boom, we already have it. That was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. We multiply, eight times 14 is 112. We subtract 112 minus 112 is zero. Bring down, nothing to bring down, but do not forget decimal. In the equation, our decimal point is one to the left. So in our quotient, it will also be one to the left, which makes 137 and 2 tenths divided by 14, 9 and 8 tenths. All right, let's go ahead and keep trucking. Ooh, we did lots of math on this one, so we could make sure our skip counting was over here. Guys, there's nothing wrong with skip counting on the side. I will, st I would still do this, even if I weren't um, doing this video for, for you guys and I was just trying to make my answer key to grade with, I would still be doing this. So 17, we have five, whoop, I used a different one. I have to use this one. All right, so 523 and 6 tenths, and we're dividing by 34. Boy, they're using big ones for us to be using. All right, so first we divide. So 34 into 5, no go. 34 into 52, yes. So let's skip count, 34, 34 and 34. 4 and 4 is 8, 3 and 3 is 6, so we automatically know 68 is too much, so we're just going to have to say 1. Multiply, 1 times the 34 is 34, subtract, 
52 minus 34, 5 will turn to a 4, 2 will turn to 12, 12 minus 4 is 8, 4 minus 3 is 1. We bring down, I'm sorry that orange was a little bright, which is 3. Um, so we brought down, now we need to divide. So 34 into 183, I do not know that offhand. So let's do 68, let's add another 34. 8 and 4 is 12, 1, 6, and 3 is 10. So there's 102. Let's add another 34. 2 and 4 is 6, 0 and 3 is 3, 1 and nothing's 1, so 136. Let's add another 34. 6 and 4 is 10, 3, 3 and 1 is 7, 1 and nothing is 1, so 170. 2 and nothing, 1. 0 and 4 is 4, 7 and 3 is 10, 1 and 1 is 2. So 204 is too much, so we will do this 170, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. We multiply 5 times the 34 is 170. We subtract 183 minus 170. 3 minus 0 is 3. 8 minus 7 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. We bring down, we do the blue, bring down the 6. So divide how many times will 34 go into 136 well boom we have it that's one two three four times we multiply four times 34 is 136 we subtract 136 minus 136 is zero bring down we can't there's nothing else to bring down so do not forget decimal in our equation our decimal points one to the left so in our quotient our decimal point will also be one to the left so 523 and 6 tenths divided by 34 is 15 and 4 tenths. All right, we're in the hot, hot, hot questions. Let me erase these. Also, a lot of math to make sure our skip counting was correct. Nothing wrong with that. All right, so number 18, we have something divided by five. We'll get me to one in 21 hundredths. Well, hmm, how's that gonna work? So remember the opposite of division is multiplication. So to find this, we can use our fact families. So if we know something divided by five is one in 21 hundredths, then we know the opposite of that should get me that beginning number. So we will do one and 21 hundredths multiplied by five. One times five is five, two times five is 10. One times five is five plus the one is six. Do not forget your decimal. So in the equation, our decimal point is one, two to the left. So in our product, because this is multiplication, it will be one, two to the left, which means our blank is six and five hundredths. Very nice. All right, let's go ahead and go to the next one. So we have 46 and 8 tenths divided by 1 and 2 tenths will get me what? So let's do our long division. We have 46 and 8 tenths divided by, ooh, this one's tricky, tricky, tricky. 1 and 2 tenths. So what I'm going to do is rewrite this. I'm gonna rewrite this as 468 divided by 12 because I can, I'm gonna ignore those. So let's go ahead and start. Let's divide. How many times will 12 go into four? Mm, wah, 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 it won't. So 12 into 46, skip count. 12, 24, 36, 48. 48 is too much, so we'll do that 36, which is three times. Next, we multiply. 3 times that 12 was 36. We subtract. 46 minus 36 is 10. Next, we bring down. I'm going to use a different color, which is 8. Well, I don't have enough to go to that, so let's start adding. We had 48. Let's add another 12. 8 and 2 is 10. 1, 4, and 1 is 6, so that's 60. Let's do another 12. 0 and 2 is 2, 6 and 1 is 7, so 72. Let's do another one. 2 and 2 is 4, 7 and 1 is 8, 84. Let's do another 12. 4 and 2 is 6, 8 and 1 is 9, 96. And another 12. 
Six and two is eight. Nine and one is ten. Oh, look there. There's our hundred and eight. How many times did that take us? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine times 12 is 108. We subtract 108 minus 108 is zero. Next, we're supposed to bring down. We have nothing to bring down. We'll wait. So we're gonna have to look at these decimals again in the original problem. We have to find the total number of place values we go to the left with both numbers. So here is one place to the left. Here is one place to the left. So two total. So our answer will have to go one, two, to the left because of the total number of times we went to the left. So 46 and 8 tenths divided by 1 and 2 tenths is 39 hundredths. Wow. All right. Good job on that one. And then let's do our last problem. We finish up erasing. We had a lot of work on this one as well. And you guys are going to be able to write your work in there a little bit easier than I am where I'm writing on my laptop. It's a little bit more difficult for me to fit all that in there. All right, so on number 20, it is 34 and 1 tenth divided by something will get me to 22. Okay, guys, so this is going to be similar to number 18 where we're going to use our fact families. So notice that it's a different section that we are missing. So this one, we're actually going to use our second division equation as our fact family instead of multiplication. So to solve this one, whoops, we are going to do 34 and 1 tenth divided by that 22, which will give us our unknown. So let's go ahead and do 34 and 1 tenth divided by that 22. So the first thing we do is divide. How many times will 22 go into three? That won't work. So 22 into 34. So if we skip count, 22. 22 more is 44. 22 more is 66. 22 more would be 88. So 44 is too much. So we're gonna have to use that 22, which is only one time. And then we multiply one times 22 is 22. We subtract 34 minus 22, 4 minus 2 is 2, 3 minus 2 is 1. Next, we bring down this 1. Well, we're going to have to keep skip counting. So 88 and 22, so 8 and 2 is 10. 1, 8 and 2 would be 11, so that would be 110. Let's do another 22. So cannot do it or zero and two is two. I can't do that, I'm sorry. My brain went to subtraction. One and two is three and one and nothing is one. So we have 132. So we're gonna have to use our 110, which is one, two, three, four, five. Next we multiply, five times the 22 is 110. We subtract, one minus zero is one, two minus one is one, one minus zero is zero. Next we bring down. Well, I have nothing to bring down right here, but we have not yet talked about this, but another way to try to not have a remainder when you are dealing with decimals is you may add a zero into this section here. So if I add that zero, I now do have something to bring down. So let me change my color. Next, I have a zero. Well, look there. So now I divide. So how many times will 22 go into 110? Boom, one, two, three, four, five times. So five times that 22 is 110. You subtract that, you get zero. Nothing else to bring down. Do not forget your decimal. So um, in our equation, our decimal point is one, two to the left. So in our quotient, it will also be one, two to the left. So. 34 and 1 tenth divided by something equals 22. That something is 1 and 55 hundredths. All right, guys, so there we now have officially finished 215. Make sure you have checked your answers. Good job, guys.